Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this video, we'll take a look at aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is an important thing to consider because if you change the aspect ratio of your image, you might squish or stretch the image, and that could have some undesirable effects. So an aspect ratio is essentially kind of an, an invisible grid that makes up your image. Here in our example, we have one, two, three, four squares wide and one, two, three, four, five squares tall. So this is a particular aspect ratio where we have four wide and we have five tall. Now it doesn't matter uh, how many inches are in this particular square, and of course these aren't even, I just kind of freehand drew these in, but it doesn't really matter how many inches this is. What's important is that each of these squares is even and your image makes up an even amount of these squares. So if I were to change this, uh, to four squares by four squares, but what happened is this image would get stretched. And we can see that by example here if I stretch it a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just use the free transform tool here. And let's resize the image to four by four. So we've now changed the aspect ratio of this image uh, and it's squashed our face. And for something like faces or perfect circles and things, uh, squashing it is not really the best thing to do. If we try that with uh, maybe let's say a sphere or an elliptical shape here, let's do a nice blue one that we can see. So we'll do a perfect sphere and fill it with blue. And now let's change the aspect ratio of this. So right now uh, we have it set at this uh, four wide and five tall. Now if we change this a little bit and we squish it, now I'm probably not gonna squish it exactly, but if we squish it at all, what happens is our sphere, which was supposed to be perfectly spherical, got squished. Now that's, you know, again, a little more obvious with a face or something, but the important thing to remember is that you don't wanna squish your image. Now, fortunately uh, for you, if you're working in Painter, and you resize your canvas, for some reason this little box, which normally in Photoshop is supposed to constrain your aspect ratio, does absolutely nothing um, in my version of Corel Painter. So it might do something for you, and in that case if it does, checking this on and off um, may or may not constrain the aspect ratio. So to, to show you what I mean by that, since I can't actually do it in Painter, which is unfortunate, I don't even know why this feature is here if it doesn't work, we're going to do this in Photoshop. So I have the same image open in Photoshop here. And we'll go to image size, which is the same dialog pretty much as in Painter. And we'll see we have the same constraint feature here, except this one's called constraint proportions, which is also constraint aspect ratio. So we're looking at our image in inches here. So right now we have uh, 11 inches. And let's just make it an even thing. Let's just make it four by five like our, like our like in our example so now we have a nice even image here didn't hurt it to resize it like that but if we resize it to four by four that's what happens it gets squished and if we resize it again to let's say four by three well there we go we're getting squished even more so what you have to watch out for if you're working in photoshop is to have this constrained proportions box checked and if you do that that'll make sure that when you change the height or the width it'll also uh, change the other one along with it so if we change the height to 8 it changes the width to 6.4 so it's maintaining this aspect ratio no matter what if we change it to 10 we can see that the width will change to 8 so each of those blocks is still four wide by five tall but within those blocks there's a certain amount of inches we can make this any size we want. We can make it 30 inches and we'll get a width of 24. And that's by having this little box here constrained. So if you're going to be doing some stretching and things, what you want to make sure is that you don't stretch things too much. Um, you want to maintain your aspect ratio overall. So when you're plotting out your image, maybe decide that ahead of time. Decide whether or not you want your image to be tall or whether or not you want it to be wide. And then don't really try to change it because if you do, what you're going to have to do is either squish it or you're going to have to crop it. 
and if you crop it, you're going to lose some of your painting. You have to do something like that if you wanted to make it wider instead of taller. So we'll go back to Painter here, and we'll just kind of play around with this a little bit more. I'm using the free transform tool here, and you could be doing this with any type of object, but what you want to remember is that it's going to get squished if you pull up one of these sides, left or right or up or down. Now, if you want to um, resize something without losing its aspect ratio, what you can do is when you're scaling it, you can hold shift. Right now I'm holding shift on my keyboard, and what that's doing is it doesn't matter if I move up or down or left or right, I can't squish my image that I'm resizing. See how it's staying locked into this aspect ratio? Now I'm going to let go of shift right now. I just let go of shift. And you can see if I move up and down and left and right, I'm changing the aspect ratio of this particular element in my artwork. So holding shift maintains. Not holding shift squashes and stretches. And most of the time, squashing and stretching is not a good thing, especially for faces. It's fine if there's something that you want to intentionally squash or stretch. Just beware that that's happening. And when you're resizing things that you don't want to squash or stretch, again, hold down Shift. That works in Photoshop, too. So I hope that clarified a little bit about aspect ratio and removed a little bit of frustration from your life when working with Corel Painter. If you found this information helpful, Take a quick second to like this video and share it on YouTube or Facebook, and that'll make it easier for other artists out there to find this information. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next video.